Okay, so a quick video here to talk about magnetic versus geographic north. Uh, now, it, basically what I'm going to tell you here is that the north pole and the magnetic pole of the Earth are in different places. Now, here we have a map of the Earth, or at least here's the equator, and here's... Um, zero 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 right here now before I get talking about the flat map it's a good idea to talk about how the earth actually looks so here's my earth here now I'm going to draw an equator now that equator on my earth here that corresponds with this here okay and then I'm going to draw a line from the south pole which is the bum of the apple up to the stalk here which is our north pole and then I'm going to come back down the other side okay so it's a little bit hard to sort of get this bit under uh, understanding this bit but this line here from the south through to here corresponds with this part here this line and if I turn the apple around this line here corresponds with both this line and this line. They're actually the same place because we can pick up this map and sort of turn it into a cylinder and you can see that those two places meet. So they're the same place. Okay, so all this video is about is telling you that this spot right here, the stalk of the apple, this spot, which also happens to be, if you think about it, this spot here and it also happens to be this spot here. So those three points, well actually, every single point along this line represents this spot here. It's one of the problems with trying to represent a, a sphere with a flat piece of paper. Every single one of those bits is the, nor is the North Pole, the geographic North Pole. Now, the magnetic North Pole actually isn't, isn't there. That what I mean by that is that if you're holding a compass and it's pointing to north, it's not pointing to this spot here. It's actually pointing slightly in a slightly different spot. So if this is 30 degrees north and this is 60 degrees north, this is 90 degrees north and that's, that's where our geographic north pole is. That's our stalk. Um, magnetic north is slightly down from that. It's at 86.3 degrees north. It's slightly down, which means that on our apple, it's slightly down from our stalk. So it's not right on north, it's here somewhere. But I haven't told you yet whether it's here or 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 here. Or here, or here, or here. So it could be in any one of those spots. Now it's actually 86.3 degrees north. 160 degrees west. So if this is zero and all the way around here is 180, that means that our magnetic north, let's come up with a different pen here, that means that our magnetic north is approximately here. So that's a little bit complicated, a little bit confusing because your compass does not point directly north it points to here. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it complicates our life just a little bit. And to show you what I mean, I'm gonna use a very extreme example here. So I want you to imagine for a moment that you're lost in the icy plains or tundra, whatever you call it, of the North Pole. So you're there, it's white all around you, that's pretty much all you can see, and you're lost. Maybe you're here, maybe you're here, maybe you're here, maybe you're here. Okay, so you have uh, a slight issue though because your compass doesn't really behave in ways that you would imagine. So this is geographic North Pole and let's say you want to get there. Well you pull your compass out, fantastic. And if you're standing here it's not a big issue because if you're standing here your compass will point to magnetic North Pole which is exactly the same as geographic North Pole and so you'll start walking. And then once you get to here, your compass is going to start acting crazy because you're going to be standing exactly on the, on the magnetic north pole. And then once you get to here, your compass, or once you get to here, 
your compass is going to start pointing in the opposite direction to which it current to which it previously was whereas the geographic north pole is here but it's going to point to that so um, our maps things can get really complicated now let's uh, take another look at an extreme example here let's say you were standing right there now your magnetic compass is going to point towards magnetic north pole but geographic north is there so if your compass was saying this was north it would just so happen that geographic north pole according to your compass would be west you would have to walk west to get there similarly if you were standing here your magnetic compass would be pointing this way and uh, geographic North Pole would be here. So even though your compass was facing north towards magnetic North Pole, geographic north would be here, east. Now this is a, the most extreme of examples. So if you weren't lost in the North Pole, but if instead you were just lost on Earth, or on Earth, what actually happens is magnetic North Pole and geographic north are quite close together magnetic and geographic now if I'm standing here there's a slight what we call magnetic variance between true north or geographic north and magnetic north if you're standing here the variance is different if you're standing if you were standing here there actually wouldn't be zero variance because it would go up through 160 and straight up to the North Pole so there would be zero variance there but in other places, the variance is, 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 there is a slight variance. So what this means for us is that when we look at a map and when we look at our compass, we have to make adjustments or we're going to get lost. That's magnetic and geographic north. Um, I haven't really shown you any maths here. I just want you to wrap your head around why this is what it is. Uh, and then we're going to do some, some mathematics, moving one from one, moving it from one to the other.